Okay, so our mesh data has been extracted and it's now inside of a folder. Now you may be wondering, you may be wondering where is the uh, the files? Where do they save to after you extract them? Well, we're going to go and do that right now because I kind of forgot to talk about it in the last video. So first thing we're going to do is find the folder where we extracted our mesh data to, the XML file. So find the folder where you saved your XML files to, which I believe is called hair stuff, but I can't see where that would be on this cluttered behind desktop so I'm going to see if I had it open no I think I did here stuff okay so here is the folder and all the stuff that we had extracted to it now we're going to look in here on the top folders and see which one has the name of the hair that we extracted um, you don't want the one that says assets you just want the one that doesn't say assets so here's the hair and here's the hair assets so we're going to ignore the asset folder we just want the emotions here so I'm gonna click this and then you're gonna see a folder that says files to upload so you're gonna click that and then you're gonna see this shortcut that's here what we're gonna do is right click on that shortcut and then do open file location and it's gonna send you to the folder where all your days were extracted um, if it was unrigged it will say unrigged at the end if it was rigged it just won't say anything on it it'll just have uh, the ID number so that's this right here so what I'm going to do is make a copy of it. So I'm just going to push copy and I'm going to go back a few times and I'm just going to post it, post it, paste it right here inside the folder, like two folders before. So when you go to click on it, it's right here. All right. So now we have our hair um, ready to go. I did this already with the other hair so we don't have to do it again. Um, so we're ready to go into Blender. So yeah, we still got time. All right, blender, 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 blender. So we're gonna open up our Snaggle Dev Kit, and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on here. And we have, see, we have our Snaggy, and we're gonna go onto a separate layer, a new layer down here. And I'm gonna turn on the screencast so you guys can see what I'm doing, and then set it up right to text. Right, huh? There we go. So I'm gonna create a new layer down here so that it's all blank and I'm going to import our hair so you're going to go file import call out a day and you're going to navigate to the folder that has the hair so I think it's the blue 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 mesh huh which one is the red one I think it just needs to update so let me go back to my hair stuff weird it's supposed to be here but I'm going to go look at that folder again so let's see oh that's why so let's name this something else red all right so there we go I guess because of the special characters in it um blender was like nope I don't see it so um, we just renamed it, and you see there's our hair that we had put in that folder. And now we have our hair imported in here. And you see it came with its own skeleton, and we're going to do something about that. So um, first step that we need to do is to take our hair, um, take our the skeleton that came with the hair, and click on our skeleton, <laughs> and we're going to press M and send our skeleton over to some foreign layer like right there so all that we have here is our hair now you're going to click on the hair and then you're going to notice in most cases the hair is in pieces we're going to press a and then join all of it together um and uh, this is actually why i said you need sparkles because when we joined it together it wonked up the textures which you may be thinking that's terrible how, how can you fix that that's kind of why sparkles was needed sorry I'm all over the place aren't I alright so we joined our hair together we're gonna do some corrections on it before we start putting it on manipulating our snaggle the first thing we're gonna do is press tab and then A and we're going to press W I think it is yeah W and then press remove all doubles because whenever you extract stuff from there it always has doubles like always um, when we do that after we remove our doubles we're going to press alt J and no, no control J 
and this is going to turn it from tris to quads and you're going to make sure that you check this box right here that says compare uvs that um, fixes it in okay, case sometimes when you compare uvs you'll notice that your uv texture just stretches and goes crazy uh pressing this compare uvs stops that from happening so now it's all in uh, a more usable format for all those quad happy people um, so now that we have it all quad, we're going to need to fix the texture so that it works out. So what I like to do is, while it's still highlighted, go over here to this window with the UV maps. So I'm going to extract this, move this over a little bit. See the UV maps? They're all there. We're going to press N, and you're going to see copy to UV faces. And you're going to check however many boxes is going to be here. For this hair, it only has one box, but sometimes hair can have, like, lots of boxes. Or sometimes it doesn't have it at all. If it doesn't have it at all, then you don't have to worry about it. But if you press N and you see this copy UV faces, that sparkle's telling you that the textures are jacked up. And it wants you to fix it. So you're going to check as many boxes as it says. And then once you check them all, you're going to press the button that says copy to uh, whatever. Just press the button that's at the bottom and let it work its magic. I like to click on it and make it turn white. That way I know it's done. But um, I think it's done already. It's because it just had a simple texture. So you're going to wait for it to pop back up. When it pops up, then it means it's done. So it popped, that means it's done. So our hair is absolutely perfect right now for editing. So our hair is ready to be modified with the snaggy. Um, so I'm going to go to the next video and show you how to edit your hair to the snaggle.